Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop, and I'm back, and I'm giving you some uh, Nexus gameplay. Now, I've given you guys one short Nexus gameplay already, and that was just a my first experience at the game, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it a little bit. But uh, the game's definitely a lot of fun. I totally recommend going and playing it. You have to, you have to go play it. It's a lot of fun. The game's amazing. Sorry. I had to catch my breath and uh, swallow, and I felt like I was going to get a hiccup. It was a weird combination of stomach and bowel and just weird combination of things that was happening to my body. Um, I'm going to talk quickly a little bit about the game. The things that I'm picking up right now, they're basically their health, their shield packs. Um, you have health and shield. It's very similar to Halo that, in that aspect, um, although this is an arena-based game, which is very fast-paced. There's also health packs that you can find uh, periodically around through the game through the uh, through the, the map. Um, so, like I said before, it is a it is a um, uh, an arena-based game, and what that usually means is just it's very fast. You look at you can tell how fast I'm moving. You the speed uh, at normal pace uh, in, in this game is much faster than in any other game's actual like running speed. In this game here, the, me running around uh, at normal speed, there is no running. It's always like the same speed. Um, aside from like uh, damage, bo uh, the boosts. There's booster things that happen in this game. Those are the health packs, but I was already full of health. I'm always constantly running around picking up the shields just because they they help you more than they than it they help you more than it's a than it is a wor waste of time to go get them. I'm sorry, I'm a little flabbergasted right now for some reason. My tongue doesn't want to work, but... So this game is definitely worth checking out. Um, it's got uh, a few of the guns in here are... Um, I really feel that all the guns in this game are pretty balanced. Like, the shotguns seem to be... Um, <laughs> they definitely do their work, but that guy, uh, for some reason, it took uh, way too many shots than usual. Um, this is the sniper rifle. It's like a one-shot kill in the head. I think it's two to the body. It's it's such a good gun. It's got a sniper scope on it, but I usually don't spend any time actually sniping. I spend most of my time no scoping because I find that you can uh, be more efficient with it that way as opposed to trying to zoom in. And especially if they're mid-range, you zoom in, you're going to zoom right past them. The game is so fast-paced that you're going to lose them. It's really hard to keep a beat on somebody if you're zooming in with the scope on this gun. So definitely don't bother. I usually spend most of my time... Oh, oh, sorry. This is, this is like... Um, it's like a super shotgun. What it does is it shoots the shotgun pellets similar to a shotgun, and it's it, they they reflect and they they it actually reminds me of the needler from Halo. I mean, I know I'm using a lot of Halo references, but I can't exactly use Call of Duty references because this game is nothing like Call of Duty. It's way fast paced, way too fast paced. It's a lot like Quake and Unreal Tournament and. Uh, those games, if you guys really enjoy those games, you're definitely going to want to check this game out. It's by far um, really fast-paced. And it's only 800 points, 800 Microsoft points, which w works out to, like, what, $5? So that's really cheap for a game. It's uh, multiplayer only. Um, I did find that when I played the demo, there's a few maps, which is usually shocking when there's any sort of beta demo or trial version for a game, and it's multiplayer-based. It's always shocking to find that they have more than one map type. One more map and uh, game type. It's usually one map, one game type. Well, this game has the. I didn't play anything besides TDM, so I don't know if there is a. You know, I know there's capture the flag, um, but I don't know if for the beta, the trial version, the demo version. I don't know if there is a capture the flag for that. Actually, there is because I played the very first game that I played was capture the flag. I didn't do very good, but that's the way it was. So. There's at least capture the flag in TDM. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a free for all option, and uh, there's at least three or four different maps, which is amazing. So, in that aspect, it's definitely worth checking out. So, it's free. It takes two seconds to install it or download it or whatever, and start playing. And it's oh, so fast paced. You get it's such a such a bring back, such a flashback to like older games that I used to play. Like I used to play a lot of Quake. Not a lot, but I played a little bit of Quake. Um, I played a very little bit of Unreal Tournament, one of the earlier ones. Because they're on Unreal Tournament 3 came out like last year or something like that. I never really got into it then. I've never really played them on 360 that much, to be honest with you. I played Quake. 
I bought one of the Quake games and I got to play it on 360, which was pretty sweet. But I didn't really play any of the the other ones on 360. I played Unreal Tournament and I played some Quake on PC when they actually have Quake. What is it called? Quake Live? I'm pretty sure it's called Quake Live. And it's basically a free version and uh, a free game. It's not even just a demo. It's just like a free, free to play game for PC. It's definitely worth checking out. It's really fast paced, especially if you enjoy this. It's a new style of game. Not a lot of people are, none of the younger slash uh, newer first person shooter players have really played arena based game types. And that's kind of like how it originally started. Any first person shooter that was multiplayer based was like, it was arena. And there was a the few other ones like um, GoldenEye. That obviously wasn't an arena based game, but it was just a normal first person shooter based game. But it was just. That, that GoldenEye is in a league of its own. I, I, it's hard to compare that game to anything else. Actually, to be honest with you, I would compare GoldenEye, the original GoldenEye, to Call of Duty 4. I would say they are almost on, on par with, like, best games ever made. Because um, GoldenEye is my favorite game of all time. Halo 2 is up there. Call of Duty 4 is up there. Those are like my top three favorite games of all time. Um, but anyways, back to the game itself. Uh, there's so many different guns and you actually get access to using a lot of those different guns in this game. In the beta alone. Um, what I did find is that they, it's, uh, it's kind of like Halo how they're spread out through the map. Everybody starts with the same gun. It's usually the shotgun. The basic shotgun which however basic it is you still land a few good points and it still it does damage um, this gun that I found here is ridiculous I don't know how I survived as long as I did my health was so low but it regenerates after a period of time I think it's like three seconds um, if you've been paying attention to the game and in the bottom left is the shield and the health and yeah it so it regenerates and then you can pick up the shields to uh, grow your health and I'm constantly doing laps around the map trying to pick up the shields and stuff like that. Now, I don't know too much about the little icons that pop up on the bottom right. You can see how they're cycling through. It's basically, it has three different options that pop up. Um, one is, I think one's time, so it's random when it pops up. And then you, there's an option to pick one of three options. And there is also one uh, spots on the map, many spots on the map where you can pick up um, it's like a little power boost thing and what it does is it brings up these options and certain things help you, certain things help your teammates, certain things help um, enemy teammates, or uh, not help but like cripple enemy teammates a little bit. They actually put a lot into the game considering you know how just how basic it looks. Excluding the color scheme because the color scheme is amazing. The game is so... This, uh, there's not much I can say that's bad about the game. To be honest with you, the, the only thing that I found that, w that was bad is... Now again, I don't know if the beta players or the demo players are linked in with the actual like purchased game players. Because sometimes they do that. But I, I found that th it, at times, depending on the time of day, you could find that you won't find a game to play. So... That can suck, so it's it can be difficult to find a game to play, but that was only in the beta version, so if you're trying to play at like 5 o'clock in the morning, I did find a room, and once it was full, we played like a few games, but I only got to play like four games, four, I think three or four games. The initial one that I did with the um, my first, first look at the game, and then I did two more of gameplays that I'm actually keeping, um, using this is obviously one of them. And then there's one more, I think I did one more where I didn't do good enough that I felt it was worth keeping. Um, we are coming up close to the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary talking about um, Nexus. Uh, definitely recommend playing it. You got to at least try the game. It's so much fun. It's so fast paced. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to look in to see if people actually still play it. Um, if you bought, if you purchased the actual game, I'm assuming they do, because it's not like it was a dead game. It actually sold a lot, did very well. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. And uh, this is Lex Coop saying, rate, comment, subscribe, do, 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 skadoosh.